everybody, my name is Pen, and welcome back to another episode of Art Survival Evolved. Today, we're going to talk about my top three most useless dinosaurs in a world. There are a lot of dinosaurs, but these three are my, what I consider the most useless of them because they have almost absolutely no use, and if they have a use, it's only very, very early game, and that's about it. So the Equus made it to this list, unfortunately, because of overhype and the way Ark's mechanics are, as well as a few other things that are going on with its, uh, the way it's set up, like it's what level, you have to be level 20 in order to tame this guy by that time, you probably already have something much more decent, like a trike or something like that. While this is much more mobile than a trike or somewhere along those lines, you're much safer on the back of your trike than you'll ever be on the back of your horse. Uh, basically what you're looking at here is an animal that had great potential and just did not live up to its name. You can see right off the bat, the horse does not have a very good speed. This is almost, it has been pumped a little bit in this horse that we're watching, and its movement speed is actually fairly slow. Uh, it's still faster than the trike or something like that, but unfortunately anything that really wants to eat you, even a rat, is probably going to catch you and eat you. So pretty much you're not going to be able to outrun this thing, especially if you're out trying to outrun a player on a rat. Uh, especially if they pump movement speed, you'd be better off riding a raptor than riding this guy. Um, Unfortunately, other effects are micro raptors and capture such as as you're riding through the swamp or something like that, you can get taken off your mount pretty easy. Uh, I couldn't outrun a micro raptor earlier, and I got knocked right off, and then had to fight three of them off by hand while the horse could barely do any damage to the micro raptors. So it doesn't have much melee, and it, it can't hardly defend itself. Not to mention all that, but if it gets attacked by things like snakes or anything else, it's torque force very, very low, and you can end up losing your horse because it falls out, it falls down, and goes to sleep. Uh, other than that, the lasso thing that it's got going on can be easily outdone by a crossbow with a grappling hook on it. Uh, everything, you have to remain riding a horse in order to use the uh, lasso, but meanwhile you can go ahead and pull the grappling hook and shoot the player with a grappling hook and tie right to them. And you can yank them around, you can fly on a bird. So essentially, why would you even want the horse for the lasso effect? I don't know, because you can just yank them around with the crossbow. Uh, other than that, um, there's not much else really good for them. They had to be level 20, I think is what I said, which by that time you would have mastered everything out. You would have mastered something much better. And by the time you can tame a decent one of these guys, you'll be flying around on the Quetzal anyway. And at that point, you almost have no interest in these guys. They don't have any armor to protect you. Their saddle's about the only other thing going for them because you can craft some stuff. But again, you've mastered that stuff. And all that stuff should have been done at home in the first place. If you guys hadn't already guessed it already, you should have known this guy was going to make it to the list. The Parasaur is just the most utterly useless dinosaur, or almost the most useless dinosaur in the game. Uh, While well, early on, he actually does have some saving graces. He is fairly stupid, easy to knock out. While well, you can't just catch them, and they're good for hide and meat when you want to harvest them, and because they run right into rocks, and they just run directly into it and keep running into it. Uh, if you do manage to knock one of these guys out to tame, they can be used to you to collect berries or vary a small amount of weight, but truth be told, they have almost no weight stat, nor do they have any health stat or melee stat. They basically have nothing going for them. They're excessively slow in the first place, so anybody who wants to eat this guy is going to eat this guy. He's dinner for whoever they uh, wants him, and there's just nothing you're going to do for him. Uh, he eventually becomes a yard ornament. If you don't want to feed this guy, you might as well just put him out of your misery because he's just going to become a yard ornament. You're never going to use this guy. And the only thing that's good about him is that beautiful saddle that's on him right now, uh, which I wish all Arc Dinos could have had something like that, but unfortunately this is the only way to get one, so one of the few things you can say that he's good for. Uh, other than that, just meat, hide, and just sitting in your yard. So the pack you've narrowly beats out the Parasaur for being the worst dinosaur in the game. And then also as well beats out the Equus because basically you've combined the two. The Parasaur's slowness and everything that's bad about the Parasaur, except for the fact that the Parasaur can collect berries while this guy can't. Uh, and then he combines the horse's ability to knock out things. But unfortunately you can see right there where the horse would easily be able to knock out this Dillo. Using the charge attack I can't actually even hit the guy. I'm running back and forth actually phasing right through him. And so small animals like this can actually be very problematic for trying to knock out. You end up having to re use a regular head ram, and by the time you use the regular head ram, you killed them, unlike the horse, where at least when you kicked them, it did a good ratio to where it didn't actually kill the enemy. So this guy basically does no good when it comes to anything that the horse could have done for you. Uh, you should just have gone out and tamed a horse first, and you could knock out all the dillas you want. 
uh, while I was able to knock out this turtle here being a little larger, had this been a Karno or anything like that, I would have been dead because I had to at least be able to knock him out and this is a 145 is the only reason why this one's even able to survive with about 500% melee damage. Uh, so this guy really has almost no attack damage, no knockout, and you're looking at 300, 400 uh, troll pour per hit at this point. You, you wouldn't want to tangle one with anything bigger than maybe a turtle. Alright guys, so this was my first rendition of the top three most useless dinos in Ark. We'll definitely have more, I'm sure, as Ark adds more dinos to the game. And I'm sure I probably missed one. There's probably a better one to put on this list. But these were the first three I could think of. And uh, I knew they would definitely be at least on the list of the worst dinos. So if you think of any, leave them in the comments down there. Let me know. Maybe we'll make another video. Because I don't mind to make another volume of this and go over them as well. Uh, I actually enjoyed this video a lot. So if you guys would like to do that, we can definitely go ahead and do another video. But be next three worst dinos in ARC. Uh, other than that, uh, you guys take care, and I'll catch you next time.